Good morning. Today we are looking at um, graphing again. Tails continued. So just like the last exercise, we're dealing with graphs using the tails method, but now we're going to actually reverse it. And what you'll see in this on this paper is that I've already got a graph. The graph is already done and it's got all the things we need. It's got a title, good. It's got labeled axes, good. The um, numbers on each side increase in the same um, order, the same amount. So every five lines, we've got 25, okay? Uh, going up every five lines is 0 0.050, but point being, it all goes up at the same rate or the same speed. So what our job is now is to read this graph and draw a data table down here at the bottom. So it says draw your data table here, use a ruler. So make sure you're using a ruler or something straight for your lines. You can also do this on the computer. So you could type all this into Microsoft Excel or Google Spreadsheets and just print that up. And that would be fine too, if you don't want to try and draw the data table using the ruler. So it says start at zero degrees and record data from each 50 degree increment. So which one of these is degrees? Is density in degrees? No. Is temperature in degrees? Yes. Temperature is in degrees Celsius. I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna record every 50. So zero, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, and 350. So each of those is where I'm gonna record the data into my data table. Um, for my data table, I think I only need two, uh, two rows. So let's start by doing that. Go like this. Not sure how long I wanna make it yet. So I'll keep it kind of short. And if I'm doing two rows, I need a line down the middle here. Okay. Now first is density. And I should include the units. So density, which is grams centimeter cubed. And then below that, I can do temp. And I want to include the units, which is degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, how many points of data am I going to have to collect? Well, I said every 50 degrees starting at zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to have eight pieces of data that I'm collecting. Okay. Uh, let's see, so let's go here. One, two, three, four. Let's extend this out. And this is why we want to use the ruler because even when it's messy with the ruler, it still looks better than you trying to draw straight lines, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And for the data points, I already know what my temperatures are going to be. 0, 50, 75, etc. And now I just need to read what the density is going to be. So let's I'm just going to do the density for 50. So if I look at 50 here and I go all the way up to where it touches that line, that's the density that I want. And the density looks like uh, 0 0.990, which is right there. 
So your job is to finish this data table and plug in the rest of these numbers, okay? Again, you're gonna read at certain points, like 150, you're gonna go all the way up to where it intersects, and then come over here and figure out what that density is for 150. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I will um, go over uh, any extra stuff when we review this. Thank you.